Hi, everyone. Dr. Jeff here with you again this week. Uh, we're coming to the weekend that we turn our clocks ahead an hour. Uh, so we're going to lose an hour of sleep this weekend. Um, and that's, uh, that's great because that means the summer's coming and we're going to have more time to do things uh, after dinner uh, in the evening. Uh, but in the short term, uh, our bodies really don't like this time change very much. You have something called your circadian rhythm that kind of runs your body functioning, your time clock in your body. It really doesn't like this, this, this disruption. Uh, what they have found in research is that the Monday morning after after uh, the time change uh, is the most dangerous day of the year. There are more car accidents, more heart attacks, more accidents at work. Uh, and they think this is because people are tired. They've got a bit of a brain fog because our bodies really haven't caught up to this yet. Uh, most people find that, that it takes a day or two after, after a time change to really get our bodies back in line. But some people it can take, you know, seven to, to 14 days. So some people really struggle with this. So uh, a couple of things you can do to, to try and beat this is one is try and fool the body a little bit. That means that Maybe on Friday night, you're going to go to bed about 20 minutes earlier. Uh, and Saturday night, you're going to go to bed about 40 minutes earlier. So if you usually sleep from 11 to 7, so maybe on Friday night, you're going to go to bed at uh, 20 to 11. Uh, and then on Saturday night, you're going to go to bed at 10, 20. And then what happens on the Sunday night is, yeah, you normally go to bed at 10 o'clock, uh, but really it's now 11 o'clock because the clocks have skipped ahead an hour. So you're back on track and getting your eight hours sleep. So this is kind of a, one way to kind of slowly trick your body and your circadian rhythm, believing nothing has really changed. The other thing you want to look at is, is uh, what do you do before you go to bed? So you want to decrease your alcohol, you want to decrease your, your caffeine intake, and decrease any heavy exercise for about three hours before you go to bed, because that is kind of a stimulant uh, to keep the body up. The other thing you may want to do is kind of limit your screen time. That blue light that comes off your screens, your laptop, your phone, uh, the TV, kind of tricks the uh, pineal gland in your brain to think that it's still daytime out, there's still sunlight out, and so it makes it more difficult to get to sleep. So maybe on these nights, instead of watching TV, instead of watching a movie, maybe you want to read a book uh, or maybe you want to play some games with the kids or, 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 uh, or with your spouse or some other people uh, just to get the, the brain to think that it's, uh, it's not daytime anymore and it's time to go to bed. So if you want to try and beat this weekend, try and go to bed a little bit earlier, try and stay away from your alcohol, your caffeine, uh, your heavy exercise, and uh, limit your screen time. And hopefully on Monday morning, you're going to be, uh, be uh, ready to go and, and have no issues. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, you can always uh, email me at jgoldsworthy at goldswellness.com or you can talk to me on Facebook. Or if you have any other questions you would like me to research and answer for you, you can always uh, send them to me as well. Uh, I'm Dr. Jeff and I've got your back.